in the and it's it's pretty anticlimactic how it happens how they get how they end up in captivity back to the book in the early minutes of captivity i felt an easing tension and and relief in the end the insecurity of our situation between life and death had weighed down on all of us like lead <clears throat> What first attracted my attention, so now they're captured, what first attracted my attention, (laughs) imagine this, was the fresh, healthy appearance of the victors. Their simple, enviable winter clothing and good weapons, submachine guns everywhere, and the uniform picture of sheepskins, padded jackets, felt boots, and fur caps with broad earmuffs swinging up and down. The warmly bundled up, well-nourished, and splendidly equipped men of the Red Army with their chunky, mostly red-cheeked faces formed a stark contrast to our deathly pale, filthy, bearded, and freezing figures of misery who hung exhausted and sick in their makeshift winter clothing consisting of all kinds of furs, blankets, scarfs, field gray headgear, woolens, and inadequate footgear. This sudden meeting and comparison at once showed me how low we had sunk and how little we had been prepared for this murderous battle. And the Soviets kind of, the Russians kind of have their shots at them. Fritzy, fascist, Hitler kaput. They alternated threats and obviously dreadful curses and contemptuous spit. Like raging wolves, vengeful soldiers from the rear echelons fell on the helpless victims time and time again to steal personal baggage and to vent their spleen. So now they're captured and the, the Russians start to kind of sing and dance and, and sing an old folk songs. Back to the book, all the noise and exuberance surrounding me formed a shrieking contrast to the inner and outer state which I found myself. Torn from my circle of comrades, left to myself and my emotions in the midst of the joyful dancing and singing victors with whom no contact could be established, in my inner heart I felt abandoned and without hope, totally depressed, uprooted, cut off from home, sunk far away, subjugated to a foreign will, piteously piteously thrown to the mercy of an unknown powers to be dependent on the whim of the victor, constantly watched, menacingly surrounded by barbed wire and guns, forced to relinquish any kind of external freedom. Captivity meant an unknown form of human submission and humiliation. 